Hello everyone and welcome to this video series on financial statements. My name is Manoj Kumar. In the previous video, we have understood why there is a need to learn financial statement analysis. Why do we need to apply financial statement analysis to make meaningful interpretation out of financial statements to determine the strength and weakness of the company. So on your screen, you can see we have the financial analysis framework. This framework we are going to understand and we are going to apply it on a real company to actually understand how to do the calculations and how to interpret them. So we are going to start with company trend. We will first understand the theory behind these ratios like vertical analysis, horizontal analysis or trend analysis. We will understand the theory behind this and then we will also apply it practically going forward in this video series. So let us first understand what is vertical analysis. There are two methods to do the financial analysis. One is complete trend and second is ratio analysis. This is also how we can divide the financial analysis process. So the first is vertical analysis, second is horizontal analysis and third is trend analysis. In case of vertical analysis, what you do, you calculate every item of income statement as a percentage of sales and every item of balance sheet as a percentage of total asset. This is what you do in case of vertical analysis. In case of horizontal analysis, what you do, you calculate the growth rate of each item of income statement and each item of balance sheet. In case of trend analysis, you again calculate the growth rate, but the base year is particularly decided. So I'll explain you all these techniques. Just pay attention to this video. So let's go forward and understand what is vertical analysis. It involves the study of relationship between various items of income statement and balance sheet of a single period. Okay, so you, this is the theory behind vertical analysis you can study on your own. Let me take you to the example of this. So what we do, let's take this 2018. What we are doing in this case, we are calculating each item of income statement as a percentage of net sales. Like in this case, net sales is taken as 100% and we are calculating each item of income statement as a percentage of sales like what we are doing cost of sales is 61 percent around as a percentage of sales so out of total revenue 61 percent around is going into cost of sales around 5.4 percent is going into research and development around six percent is going into indirect expenses so what we have done here we have calculated every item of income statement as a percentage of sales where sales is considered as 100% into this. Now if you want to do a cross check you can uh, look at this over a period of time also like in 2016 the net profit was 21% around as a percent of sales whereas net income in 2018 was around 22% so there is an increase in net profit margin so here you can identify what is the reason behind this is it because of the decrease in expenses or it is because of increase in revenue you can understand that okay so let's look at this example also now here in this case we have considered sales as 100% and we are calculating every item of income statement as a percentage of this net sales. So in this case, if sales is 100%, then cost of sales is 53% around and wages are 32% around and accordingly rent is 2.4% and other expenses are only 0.12%. So what we have done, we have calculated every item of income statement as a percentage of sales. Now if you want to compare across the years, in 2014, cost of goods sold was 53.8%, but it increased to 55.79% in just one year. So this is not something good. This is a red zone item. You need to understand why this is happening. 
so you can get into the details into the annual report you can check out whether cost of goods sold whether the raw material is increasing or direct expenses are increasing what is the reason behind that company is reducing its margins what is the reason behind that so you can actually find it out so this is a red zone now if you look at the profit also that the profit is also getting into uh, negative zone or rather it is actually going down earlier it was 6.67 percent as a percent of sales now it is just four percent this is also red alert so you need to identify what is the reason behind the net income which is going down so with the help of this vertical analysis we have been able to identify that company is not making as much as profit which it was making in 2014 so gradually you have to see whether the uh, condition of the in company is going up or it is going down so vertical analysis is definitely helpful now let's look at the balance sheet in case of balance sheet also what we have done we are taking this total assets as 100 percent and we are calculating every item of balance sheet as a percentage of total asset so if you want to make a comparison you can see that cash was 6.3 percent in 2014 uh, in 2013 it was 6 percent but in 2014 the cash percentage has increased so you can first check every item as a percent of total assets and then you can make a comparison also how much it was earlier and how much it is in this particular year so vertical analysis is giving you some kind of trend also what is happening over a period of time so this was vertical analysis now you do the same thing in case of liabilities also you take your total liabilities and equity as 100 percent and you calculate every item as a percentage of total liability and equity so this will give you some guidance some indication where the company is actually heading to right so let's move ahead and try to understand the reason behind vertical analysis or any kind of analysis not just vertical analysis but any kind of analysis you need to ask something like what is going up and what is going down if something is negative as per your understanding then will it continue in future also can we do something to remove it if something negative is happening can we do something to remove it or can we manage it ask these questions from yourself is it also happening with other companies something bad which is happening in your company is it also happening with other companies identify that what kind of inefficiency is it something bad is happening so there is some inefficiency what kind of inefficiency is it is it operational is it managerial or it's some market related issue identify that and mark it as red area okay mark it as red that this is what is happening in my company so mark it as red now let's read the next line what it is written here if something is positive then again ask question will it continue in future can we do something to make it even better mark it as green okay so now try to dig deeper into the annual report to find out the answers which you have raised in vertical analysis okay so uh, this was vertical analysis from my side we will be doing the practical calculations also on this but let's first understand the theory behind each ratios then finally when we are done with the definitions when we are done with the formulas we are done with basic interpretation and calculation then we will do the practical calculations also on kellogg's company right so now let us understand what is horizontal analysis this is also called dynamic analysis or we can call it trend analysis also in this type of analysis multiple years of financial statements are taken and comparison in, is made in terms of absolute figures and in percentage increase or decrease in various items such as sales, COGS, SGNA, profit, assets and liabilities. This is just the uh, process to do the horizontal analysis. If in case you don't understand with this 
written sentences then let's take the example here what we have done here this is 2018 and this is 2017 we have the income statement so what we are doing here we are first calculating the increase or decrease by amount it is 4 lakh 30 thousand in 2018 and it was 320 in 2017 so this is the absolute change 1 lakh 10 thousand increase but how much it is increasing by percentage it is increasing by 34.38 percent right now we are doing this for every item okay how much cogs is increasing and in what percentage how much selling general admin expenses are increasing by amount and by what percent we are checking for every item how much profit is increasing by amount and by what percentage so we are again checking everything now what you need to do you need to identify if there is anything which is negative for your company if there is anything very positive for your company so horizontal analysis will again give you a different perspective vertical analysis tells you one thing but horizontal analysis tells you many other things right so looking at the income statement you are looking at income statement from different perspective over a period of time what is happening and within the year what is happening clear now in this case if you want to look at the profit percentage has increased by around 30 percent only but net sales actually increased by 34 percent try to identify the reason behind it if there are items such as selling general admin expenses is increasing by 35 percent admin expenses increase by 50 percent so look at the numbers and also look at the percentages sometimes it happens that the amount was 10 earlier now it has gone to 20 so if you look at this then there is a hundred percent increase the revenue sales increased from let's say 10,000 to 11,000 so by percentage it is only 10 percent increase but in case of expense in terms of percentage there is a hundred percent increase so when you are looking at some percentage also look at the amount is that amount really very big that we need to analyze so just don't look at the percentage so merely by looking at the percentage you will see that oh there is something bad you will mark it as red but when you look at the amount by which it is increasing comparing with the revenue it is very less so revenue increased by 1 lakh 10 thousand but admin expenses increased by 17 thousand okay so now this may not give you a clear idea so go back and look at your vertical analysis that this particular item is what percent of total sales if you look at this particular uh, item as a percent of total sales it is just one percent but when you look at the increment it is let's say hundred percent so horizontal analysis is telling you that you need to analyze this why it is happening it is a red mark but when you look at it from vertical perspective it is only one percent of total sales so horizontal analysis is telling you this that this is a something which is very negative and it is expense it is a red zone you have to mark it as red you need to analyze it but when you look at it work, vertical perspective it is only one percent of total sales so it is not very important for our analysis so i think you are getting my point so vertical analysis will tell you what is happening within the year horizontal analysis will tell you what is happening over a period of time clear now here also we are taking balance sheet so in balance sheet also we'll, we will do the same thing this is 2019 and this is 2018 we are first checking how much is increase or decrease by amount and by what percent so in case of horizontal analysis we look at both absolute figures and percentage figures right so i have given you an idea what is vertical analysis and what is horizontal analysis let's proceed here again you have to ask question why something is going up or why something is going down if something is negative will it continue in future also and can we do something to remove it or can we manage it is it happening with other companies also what kind of inefficiency is this is it operational managerial or it is related to market market as red and now get into the annual report and read about the business read about the management guidelines management discussion and analysis 
and find what is the reason behind this item which is actually going negative if something is positive then will it continue in future can we do something to make it even better mark it as green when you look at items there will be many items where you will find some items are red some items are green okay now after finding the red items and green items also look at the amount by percentage this item is red but when you look at by amount it does not require any detailed analysis so you can cross check it now this is also green so green which is already green you don't need to analyze you can just see to it whether we can make something to make it better now there is an item which is red when you look at the percentage it should be red when you look at the amount again it is red now get deeper into the annual report and analyze it okay here i have a big question okay the what is the big question which analysis is more important and which gives you more insights about the company is it horizontal analysis or is it vertical analysis i would say horizontal analysis is much better because this is a trend analysis okay in horizontal analysis what you do you look at a series far more important than those for a single period basically in vertical analysis you are looking at single period in horizontal analysis you are looking at multiple periods that is more important however again i would say both analysis are important from one or the other aspect clear i have written here also that both are important and gives you a different perspective to look at the performance of the company so in just 5 minutes if you want to analyze certain financial statement then you do horizontal analysis and you do vertical analysis it will give you some insights about the company trends the next is if you want to read it you can read it the primary difference between vertical analysis and horizontal analysis is that vertical analysis is focused on the relationship between numbers in a single period or one moment in time horizontal analysis looks at certain line item ratios and factors over several periods to determine the extent of changes and their trends next the third analysis within company trends is trend analysis so on this i will look at in the next video thanks for watching